you guys, it is Star. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Today's video is going to be a very highly requested topic. So I did a video a couple weeks ago where I talked about my top five tips for new couponers. Pretty high up on that list was setting a couponing budget. So if you are a new couponer, you may have already figured out at this point why having a couponing budget is so, so important. If you have not already figured it out, you're going to learn about it in this video. So you guys told me in that video that you definitely wanted to discuss this topic and know more about my couponing budget and how I utilize cash envelopes to stay on track with my couponing budget. So that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the reason I feel like having a couponing budget is so important is because when you start couponing, couponing puts you in what I like to call a spending flow. You are always going to be in the store looking at sales ads, chasing after deals. And if you're not careful, you can find yourself very easily spending more money than you did before you started couponing. And I think that that fact catches a lot of new couponers off guard because they like, how am I spending more money? when I'm supposedly getting all of these great deals. And that is because, let me tell you, we may only be spending $3 or $5 or $10 in the store, but those little transactions add up quick. If you're not being very strategic with what you're shopping for and more importantly, how much you are spending. So I learned very quickly in my couponing journey that I had to be very thoughtful with how much I am spending because you're going to make mistakes as a new couponer. You're going to think, something is a stock up price it's not necessarily a stock up price and you're gonna buy a whole bunch of it because you're so excited I can't tell you how many people have told me oh my god I bought 20 bottles of shampoo because I thought I was you know 75 cents which is so great you spent too much money on something that you didn't need and so after a while you find yourself looking at your budget saying where is my money and why do I have all of this stuff that I don't need so setting up a couponing budget is really, really important so that those things don't happen to you. So as a part of my couponing budget, I actually utilize the cash envelope system by Dave Ramsey. I am on a debt payoff plan. I am trying to get to financial freedom, people. And as a part of that, I am on a debt payoff budget where I have a very tight budget and I have cash that I pull out of the bank every single time that I get paid in certain allotments. I divide up that cash into my cash envelopes that you see here and i use these cash envelopes when i go into the store i keep my cash envelopes in my planner that i keep within my purse so i use my planner almost like a wallet and then i pull out my cash envelopes where i just pull the cash out of the envelopes as i need it but what i like about cash is because cash holds you a lot more accountable i know a lot of people will say well i don't use credit i use my debit card mm -mm, no Swipe, swipe, swipe. You will not be able to keep up the same way with those little bitty transactions all over the place. You will look at your bank statement at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the day, and you'll be like, oh my God, did I really swipe four times for $3.50? Yeah, you did because you weren't actually physically handing out that cash. If you were handing out that cash, it has a whole different energetic component, I feel like, where you can see your money going out and it makes you think a little bit harder about what you are spending on. And so that's why I like the cash envelope system. So let me talk to you guys about my specific cash envelope system and how much I keep in each envelope and how it works for me. So I should probably start off by saying that everybody's budget is going to be different. Everybody's family and all of your needs are going to be different. So I'm just letting you know it works for me and my family just so you can have a ball ground and a, and a playing field to come up with what may work best for you and your family. But I am not a financial advisor. I am just telling you this is simply what works best. For me so I keep my cash envelopes these are my cash envelopes and the cash envelopes um, are generally just components that you find yourself 
spending the most on. So these are the things that I would normally swipe my debit card for the most. I have converted those amounts after analyzing my spending. So the first thing that you have to do is actually analyze your spending, log on to your bank, look at all of the categories and how much money that you're spending. And if you're spending too much money, then come up with a realistic amount for how much you can reduce that and what your target is to reduce it based on your couponing goals. So let's say you're spending $150 a week on groceries currently and you'd like to reduce that to $125. That is very realistic if you are going to start couponing to reduce that by $25 each week. You could probably actually do a lot more as you get good at couponing, but that would just be a good starting point. So then you would pull out $125 in cash every week versus going to the store and swiping your card. You have $125 and that will make you stick to that $125 $25 budget while you're couponing in the store because you know that that is all you have. And I actually keep my card away so that I do not have a fall plan and I have to actually stay within my cash envelope budget. So I get paid bi-weekly every two weeks and I do all of the shopping for my household. I'm the only person who shops for all of our household needs. I have a very strict budget of $200 per week or $400 every two weeks when I get paid that I pull out from my cash envelopes. Within that, I have four different categories. So my first category is my grocery envelope. Hopefully you guys can see that. Within this, I spend $100 a week for my family of three. The next category that I have is my household and couponing envelope. So this is only $20 a week. Um, and I know a lot of people will be like, so what is household and couponing versus groceries? Because those two do kind of run together a little bit, but I do keep them separated and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is $20 a week for my family. The next envelope that I have is dining out. And so this is all of our fast food. When I order pizza on the weekends, this comes out of the dining out budget and that is $40 per week. And then I also have my fun money. And so this is my personal allowance, so to speak. I can spend whatever I want to out of this envelope, do whatever I want to out of that envelope. And that is also $40 per week. So now let's go back to the groceries and the household and couponing because I know those are the ones that you guys are most interested with. And let's talk about how I came up with those facts and figures. So as I mentioned, there are three people that live in my household on a day-to-day -day basis. It is me, my husband, and my son. I have calculated an average amount of about $5 per day for grocery allowance for each person in my family to eat. So if I had one person in my family, then it would be like $35 per week. If there were two people in my family, it would be $70 per week. If there were three people in my family like there are that comes out to $105 per week, I just chopped off the five dollars just to make my life easier and I just pull out a hundred dollars a week but it's an average of five dollars a day per person and my family to eat the twenty dollars that I have for household and couponing that is for all of the actual household goods so that's not our grocery items that's not things that we're actually consuming as food that's just household goods and actually coupons so if I buy any coupons I don't spend a lot of money on coupons because I am blessed to have a coupon fairy but if I was to actually buy any coupons for any reason it would also come out of that twenty dollar budget and I know for for a lot of people, $20 is not going to be enough um, for household items on a weekly basis. Mine is so low because as you can see behind me, I'm pretty well stocked up on household items. So I really don't have a reason to be spending more than $20 a week on household items. There are some things that I do have to stock up on sometimes and usually that's paper products like trash bags and paper plates and things like that. But for the most part, we're really good. So that's why I said your budget is going to vary based on what you have going on, where your stockpile is, and you'll be able to adjust those amounts as needed. There are a lot of weeks where we don't use the whole $100 a week for groceries because the couponing is really good that week. And I'm able to take that additional money and pay down debt or roll it over to the next week. So you will find after you build up a pattern what works for you. But I wanna let you guys know something that's really, really important when it comes to this system.
And what I think is most important is that you learn to stay on track by only really stocking up on the things that you need. As a new couponer, the quickest way to ruin your budget, to be out of budget, is to be chasing all of the deals. You will see deals on things like soda or Pepsi, and you're like, we don't even drink soda, but you want to go chase it because it's a dollar a case. You'll see things where it's a money maker on cat food. You don't have a cat, but you want to chase it because it is, you know, a 25 cent money maker. Start learning to stay at home. Start learning to pass on deals that you don't need. When I'm making out my budget every single week for my household, one of the first things that I do is actually write out a list of what we need. So when I'm shopping and I'm couponing throughout the week, I stay focused on the categories within that list. If you follow me from a deals perspective or a couponing perspective, you may see that I'm not always chasing after whatever the popular deal is at the time. And it's probably because I don't need it. And if I don't need it or if it's not something that I would actually use in my household, guess what? It is going to stay in the store. I am not chasing something just because it's a fantastic deal and everybody else is going to get it. I may actually go to the store and work out a deal that's completely Completely different because if I need trash bags or if I need paper plates, that's the deal that I'm going to work out for me and my household. And I want you guys to get into that mind state where you're not chasing the popular deals, but instead you're chasing the deals that you need because that is the way that you stay on budget as a couponer. So week over week, I am going to start trying to incorporate, or I shouldn't say week over week, bi-weekly as I get paid, I'm going to start incorporating some cash envelope stuffing videos into my channel so that you guys can see how I write out the list of what I need, how I stuff my money into my cash envelopes every two weeks when I get paid, and how I stay on track and reconcile my budget as I analyze my spending when I get done couponing at the end of the week, because I think that will all be helpful. But I wanted to lay the groundwork in this video on how I budget, how I stay on track with my budget, and why I think cash is so important. I know for a lot of people, they feel like cash is not realistic, it's not convenient, it's not. Cash can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but I promise you, it will keep you so on point when it comes to maintaining your budget budget and meeting your financial goals. So if you have any couponing budget tips that you want to share, please feel free to list them in the, on the comment box so that we can share and continue the conversation and continue to help each other along our financial journey. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.